We have waited at the door, swallowed our tongues like forbidden fruits, put our trust in a system that has slithered through the ages, leaving venom in our nets, coiling around our children before the umbilical is cut. We have waited at the door, hoping for a slice of our humanity to be given back, for black lives to be treated like they matter to a world queasy full of pork scratching, gifted by the hands of favoritism, that write letters in the stars that say, well done, you pure white and you good acceptable other, eat from my greasy bounty, you are not like the black one. We have waited at the door, but we will not wait anymore. You will swallow your tongue now with all the food you have guzzled, reparations embezzled, and listen when we say your mother was black. And all the first women in humanity. And they look down in disgust at how you have desecrated the family. How you have murdered, tortured, beaten, lied to, harassed and hated then wrinkled your noses and turned your faces when there is blood seeping under the door. But we are here, still, heartbroken and angry. We are sheer will, have not eaten, but we're so full of light, so full of fight, still bearing the weight of ancestral plight, but we are not disposable. We are not replaceable. We are not transparent, so don't tell me you don't see color. See this black erupting through the night sky. See it filling space. See it in our eyes. With our eyes, we can look towards a better destination than this. Let's all look back together and bring down false glories of the past. Because Us 
Kutik, black British dash African, a square smaller than a fingernail that our persons are layered into. I am just trying to pull back the skin of that like an onion to find out what's inside. This one bulb of the earth will make thousands of recipes. Thank you.